Hey, what is up everyone? This is Embus Sunier, and today we are going to be comparing the brand new iPhone 6S with other smartphones that are currently on the market. So let's start this comparison video off by talking about the major differences between the iPhone 6S and last year model, the iPhone 6. If we were to compare these two phones side by side, we would actually see a very similar design. But trust me on this guys, these two phones are very different. One major difference between these two phones is that the new iPhone 6S has a Series 7000 aluminum shell, opposed to the 6300 series used in the iPhone 6. So this means that the aluminum shell of the new iPhone is much more durable and can survive any clumsy falls uh, that may encounter. I know that I am very clumsy with my phone and I've dropped it a million and a half times, uh, so this upgrade to the new iPhone will definitely be worth the purchase. Another major update to the new iPhone is a 3D Touch. First seen on the Apple Watch, the 3D Touch allows the display to sense how much pressure is being applied, opening up new ways for users to interact with their iPhones. At the moment, 3D Touch only works on select apps including Instagram, iMovie, Dropbox, Twitter, and Shazam to name a few. There's an improved camera with 4K video on the new iPhone. If we compare this new camera with the iPhone 6, we would see an increase of a total of 4 megapixels from 8 to 12 megapixels on the brand new iPhone 6X. The FaceTime camera on the front of the phone has also increased its megapixels from 1.2 to 5. The iPhone 6S also has an, a faster processor. The new iPhone 6S has 2GB of RAM when compared to the iPhone 6 which only had one. One of the biggest updates to the newest iPhone is the A9 chip. This new chip allows performance to increase 90% with the CPU getting a 70% boost when compared to the A8 chip. Now that we have compared the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6, Let's compare the iPhone 6S with the brand new Samsung Galaxy S6. The display on the Samsung Galaxy S6 is much larger with a 6.1 Super AMOLED 2560 by 1440 pixel display while the iPhone 6S has a relatively smaller 4.7 inch LCD 1334 by 750 pixel display. As discussed earlier, the iPhone 6S has 2GB of RAM. But if you compare this RAM size to the Samsung Galaxy S6, it falls short. The Samsung Galaxy S6 has 3GB of RAM, which means it would run much faster. The battery size of the Samsung S6 is also much larger, allowing the phone to run much longer without having to be close to a charger. The final comparison between these two phones is a camera. As discussed earlier in this video, the iPhone 6S has an upgraded 12 megapixel rear facing camera, but that does not compete with the 16 megapixel scene in the Samsung Galaxy S6. So you guys can pick up your iPhone 6S or the brand new iPhone 6S Plus from any Apple store and is available in three different sizes, the 16 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, and 128 gigabyte, and it is in a newly added color, which is rose gold. So I want to know your guys' opinion. Are you guys going to get the new iPhone 6S or iPhone 6S Plus? And if so, what color would you get it in? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.